Hello everybody, my name is Rune Eldred and welcome back to another marvelous episode of Guardians of the Galaxy. If you missed the last episode in which we got busted by Corel of the Nova Corp and uh, Peter and her got to have this nice little interaction. Peter may or may not have a 12 year old daughter from the events that transpired in the Guardians of the Galaxy No Guts No Glory novel that you can see the cover of right here. That is a prequel to the events that lead up to this game that take place both 12 years ago and literally like the day before the start of the game. As we wait for the game to load, I'm a fade to black as I enjoy some Chiovani's strawberry cheesecake yogurt. Looking nice, hellish landscape out here. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Oh. Ramatar did have a nice forest because it was dry. Sounds like Rocket doesn't like getting wet. Uh, Brush my teeth root. before battle. Why? Groot messed with my toothbrush. Looks like Drax is not in here. Nor is Gamora. Isn't Paramedar where we got ambushed by machete wielding goons? I believe they were hatchet wielding goons, and they were after Peter Quill. Who cares about the hatchet guys? It was meditation rain, shrine, and we weren't about to be selling one of us. I think Rocket still has some animosity about selling Groot. But it's gonna be the best choice for us. So we need units. What about selling that llama beast? Lady Hellbender would never purchase such a lowly creature. Not to Lady Hellbender, obviously, but what about the nowhere market? I'm not sure we'd even get 20 units out of it. Now, if we'd still have my weapon stash, so we could have sold the weaponry. No, if we still had my stash, we could have upgraded the Milano's weapon system and blasted Novacore out of the sky. Uh, <laughs> doubtful. Let him dream. I should probably learn a second language at some point. Like French. What would French do you out here? Unless I plan to go back to Earth. Alright, nothing in there. Anything the llama says? How you doing, uh, llama? You're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I like the little llama interactions. I hope the llama stays a part of our crew and becomes the newest guardian. Dry up. That's what I want to do after this mission. Hmm. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. It is. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. <laughs> I love the mohawk. I hope y'all like walking because this is gonna take a while. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. I guess you're a hard We body. accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. Fair point. Tracks is nothing Bet more to we could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? <laughs> positivity? How? We're on some crazy hurricane planet, about to be soaked to the bone, on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical warlord. Lady. War lady. Additionally, Nova Corps confiscated your crate of weaponry. <gasps> yeah! That too, I'd forgotten about that. Do you need a hug? No. Gamora Are we going? Giving hugs? Because I'm ready. Okay, damn. Attitude. Of course, it had to be raining. I hate wet. Alright, that's good to know. Um, there's something over here I can interact with. I thought I saw the little thing pop up. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? 
Hellbender's just castle a few minutes ago. That far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. That's a castle. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. If you look, it looks there like is there's nothing clear to figure skies out. around it. merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. I was wondering if there's anything up over here that I can find. Jacket, all right. At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Trax is out here shirtless. Okay, you can't seriously walk through this. Forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on. At least you won't be bored. Oh, why do I feel like Amora's about to get blasted off? Okay, badly. guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. <sighs> we got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen. <laughs> you know she can't control the weather, right? Drax, the war is on our side. For now, just try to accept it. What do you mean for now? I'm saying you have a reputation in Gamora. Drax is clearly a little crazy, so. What? Interesting tactic, Quill. Hey, the more we argue, the quicker this will go. Admit it. You almost forgot about the storm. No. Nope. If Lady Eight is so powerful, why does she live on this scuttle? Because she's powerful. Concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Where you're from ain't what oh! Okay, that oh, startled me a little close. bit. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Again, she does not control so the weather. Still doing this. Yes! Guys, focus. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. This might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived. Oh danger. crap. Yeah, you would have <laughs> lived. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. Okay, so I need. Wait, God! Whoa! I ever mentioned how much I hate you. I hate you. No longer raining. Oh no, oh no, it still is. Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. Who does? 
out by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our guys. Uh oh. Oh. We're yeah. fighting each other. Uh, sure. But it ain't moving friendly? now. You'll be wary, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Bit. Ah! Okay. Get ready. All right, we're surrounded. This is fun. About time we get some action instead of blasting. I was getting bored anyway. I must reluctantly agree. We got it. In their hole. Oh, Soaks up a lot of pain for such a weird little thing. Did you just chuck a boulder at him? Wait, is there now a blue one? Here looks like we are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not marvelous. You sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way up. Some wreckage. Yeah. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, right. grab that pull this Drax reactor out quick. gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Will I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. Okay, it doesn't look like we can actually move it around, so I'm just gonna jump Great. up here. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. Okay, Rocket, I guess I need to. Alright, Rocket. Go over that there. wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Fair point. What the fuck? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady <laughs> Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Glad they're communicating and discussing it out. Let's see what's right here. 
Both go. The war rages between resistance forces and the vile Chitari. We've engaged them throughout the Skeknarf system, with the costliest battles taking place in orbit of Seknarf 9. We've already seen the Chitari landing on the planet's surface, which makes us rethink our belief that it's a neutral world, or maybe the Monster Queen fights her own resistance below. If we ever intended to find an alliance here, we've long since ruined our chances by pelting her world with down ships. Not just Chitari. We've already lost half of our own fleet. It must look like the heavens are raining from raining fire from down there. There are no winners in this conflict, only death. We're waiting for the inevitable retreat orders. We cannot win this battle. I'm not even certain we could win this war. And it looks like you became part of that collateral damage that crashed down here. We whoop. Bam. War components. I can make that. I knew I could make it at that. I had no doubt. It's kind of pretty in a newly chaotic way. These words will describe the mighty storms of Katas as well. Weren't any storms where I grew up either, since it was a secret lab. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Oh god, there are tracks. Paw prints. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're Thanks, here? Smarty. Nope. Only question is, which one of us that'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. I tracks. Thank you for standing next to some components and letting me know that they're there. Greatly appreciated, buddy. Um, let's see what's over here. This way, as I continue to hear, hear it. Those are more components. I don't have a good feeling about this. I am this. eager to experience Lady Help in this legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You can fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Yeah, let's... There is definitely something in here watching me. Uh, please don't let there be a space bear in here. A space bear? Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. The Rice Krispies guy. And hello, Mystery Goo. Okay, let's see. We're safe in here, right? Yeah, look at that. What are those? We got egg clusters. Oh god, there's eggs. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... I'm definitely gonna get attacked by some sort of monster. I am in its cave. I know I'll, I know I am done for. Alright. No, just trying to stay ready. I love how if I did see the monster, y'all aren't even over here. What the Those are hands. Sacrificial hand sculpture. Seknarfian, uh, Seknarfian sculptures often represented the reaching hands of priests who would sacrifice them to the monster gods of Seknarf Prime. Okay, yep. Okay, guys, just take your time reaching me like normal. Oh, 
good. I am good at dodging. Yeah, I think you're getting closer. Some jelly, dude. They took care of it. I'm not I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Came with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. Just played bigger than I thought. Nice hidden passage. Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another block. No, I will. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. All right. Yes, this is what I was looking for. What did I get? What did I get? I got Gamora's Guardian of the Galaxy outfit. Yeah, just a sec. We're having a moment. A moment? Yeah, a moment. Okay, I gotta go all the way back. But I'm happy I was able to find her guardian's outfit. Alright, Rocket. What exactly do you think you're gonna find down here? You done exploring, Quill? Cause, uh, I really need to talk to you. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling brute thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Brute's the only real family I got, Quill. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Like some kind of thing to be studied and kept in a cage. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just going to assume it's funny? Not Maybe. sure I get where... Th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Well, that's reassuring. You sure you want to get lost out here? Oh, definitely. Give me a second before you finish your sentence there, Drax. I want to equip Gamora with her Guardians of the Galaxy outfit. Since I already have Rocket rocking his, I could put Groot in one, but I kind of like his mohawk look. Oh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll put Groot in his for this episode. The way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. All right, let's just keep going. Oh, ah! son of a keeper. There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we will have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. <laughs> we all know which Harlot Spawn it first. <laughs> what about her sister Nebula? Mm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Say the word Harlot again, and my knife will. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Hm. Should we ask them for directions? 
I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I that saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. So I wonder if Lady Hellbender at one point in time had people that habited her planet. You're up, Gamora. Once I had to defend an ambassador from the Nightmare Realm, it shifted depending on who was speaking. Into what? It became your worst fears all tangled up together into one creature. What did yours look like? Nice try. Let's see what's this way first. That's one thing I can say I do hate about games like this where there's an open world but linear pathway is sometimes you don't know what areas are really explorable. What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say, throw it. Don't give him the pleasure. I was not going to say that. Okay. Fine. Go. I was deep in the jungle of an impossibly hostile planet. At the end of a bridge, I found this small, hairy, weasel-shaped abomination. Scott Hall! <laughs> Nice. He didn't say rodent. Alright, let's see what's over this way. Now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. I love their banter. Hmm. It's more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you, you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not we throwing rocks. We throw people. Very well. You sons of fucking dogs! How will we cross? Look around, we'll find another way. As much as I would love to throw a rocket. I do. As much as I would love to throw a rocket across the bridge. We both know it's too far. I am working on the friendship with Rocket. Map. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. Groot can get pretty tall, guys. Don't don't uh second guess Groot, alright? He has stretchability. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. I feel like there would be something down there. I might try to throw myself down a hole. Because I only lose a little bit of health if I fall. You do know that aimless oh, shooting hi. isn't going to scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything okay, I yep. do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. I just thought I saw a bottom down there, so it was worth investigating to see if, like, I could walk down there and there'd be a hidden outfit or components, hey, or... I found more ruins down here! Ah, or perhaps something. he could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rockets! Something else here. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. See? Always an alternate... <laughs> I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Oh, okay. Drax just pushed me off. Great place to leave a skull. Wait. Hear that? 
Rocket, bomb them, and then while yeah, they're being I'm bombed, all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the lady hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Many faces. That's some Gamora could cut. We got another thing up there. Gamora, All right, Gamora. Cut those down. sure it's this way. 50 units, as it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I actually do because Rocket lost the bet. No in way these are we almost third there. Epi Still got like second half episode. planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Shots fired. Real recognizes real. Okay, Drax. Why are you just hanging out down there, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. My problem Drax, is wanna meathead trying to hug me over a cliff. You are over more yeah. mind cutting us in half. They through. say that late only because Quill stopped you, and there should be no problem. Uh okay, three conversations going on at once. That is a little bit of a downfall no, with a lot no of the random bomb. dialogue. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. We even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Here. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. Oh, Gamora, no. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. It's more or less so many better ways to kill him. 
Watch, everybody else is gonna make it by fine. Easy does it. But me, why does that look like a dragon? says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. There's a giant monster down there. Oh, and there's the tentacle. 